Hi everyone, welcome to the WSO2 Identity Server Single Sign-On Training video. In this video, we are going to learn about Single Sign-On, which is most commonly known as SSO. Let's begin this video by understanding how a typical organization ecosystem functions. In any typical organization, we access several applications to perform our day-to-day -day tasks. These applications can have their own user base to authenticate the user. When the user tries to log in, the application talks to the user store, authenticates the user, creates a logged in session for the user and allows access to the application by the user. When the user tries to log in to the next application, that application has to follow the same process again. In order to minimize this hassle, we can use a centralized access control system. All the user credentials and security aspects can be managed by a central user store. For example, if an administrator wants to do a bulk forced password reset for all the active users, that can be handled easily using this setup without having to reset passwords for each individual application. However, there are a few issues that would not be solved by merely having a centralized access control system. The application users have to still repeat the login process for each application they want to access, which results in low productivity and poor user experience. The application developers have to still handle the authentication process and the various authentication mechanisms within their respective applications which result in cost of development and low agility. The solution for these concerns is to introduce an identity provider system. The identity provider can connect to the organization's user store and authenticate the users on behalf of the application. When a user tries to access the first application, the application delegates the login process to the identity provider. As there is no logged in session for the user yet, the identity provider prompts the user for credentials that will prove his or her digital identity. Once the user enters the credentials and submits to the identity provider, the credentials are validated, a logged in session is created for the user and the user is allowed access to the application. When the user tries to access the next application, that application also delegates the login process to the same identity provider. This time around, however, since the user already has a valid logged in session at the identity provider, the user challenge is skipped and the user is directly allowed access to the application. Hereby, the end user's productivity and the login experience are improved significantly. All this sounds very good. However, there is one problem yet to be tackled. Each time the organization wants to onboard a new application, there could be a huge effort from the developers to either make changes on the application side or the identity provider side to adhere to the other party's messaging protocol. The remedy for this is open standards. There are a few open standards for single sign-on. The most prominent ones among them are OpenID Connect, SAML2 Single Sign-On and WS Federation. These protocols have well-defined messaging formats. The applications and identity providers will have to implement one of the above specifications. The specifications define messaging formats that need to be used by the applications and the identity providers so that they can understand each other. If both the application and the identity provider support a common messaging format, there is no development overhead to connect these two systems. You will only require to configure the relevant parameters on both sides to onboard the application for single sign-on. We have now come to the end of this training video. Let's have a quick recap of what we learned from this training. First, we got to know how a typical application ecosystem functions. Next, we learned the benefits of using single sign-on as opposed to a centralized access control system. And finally, we got to know the open standards that are used to implement single sign-on. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to get in touch with us through the following channels. Our email is iam-dev at wso2.org. 
in Stack Overflow, tag your queries with WSO2 or WSO2IS. And our Slack channel is WSO2IS.slack.com. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to meet you in another exciting training video.